it would appear that the for-profit corporation, Sweet Baby Inc., which is a consultancy group uh, that has a mission to make video games more diverse, whatever that means, has now uh, become like the Quran. You're not allowed to criticize it uh, unless you blaspheme. A any type of criticism, no matter how mild, it is completely unjustifiable. And uh, th this is pretty much what all journalists seem to agree with right now. Uh, all of this started because a man who lives in Brazil made a Steam curator group. And all it did is like these video games have commissioned Sweet Baby as a consultancy. Like that was it. So one of the people working at Sweet Baby was incredibly outraged by this and demanded that the Brazilian curator not only be taken down, but his Steam account uh, be taken down as well, so he loses access to all the games. A and he encourages people, he encourages the public to flag this person. So obviously this backlashes into the face of Sweet Baby, and here we are now. <clears throat> you will not find this out about it on Wikipedia, though. Wikipedia being a website which I am glad that it becomes irrelevant day after day. Uh, th this is one of the great wonders of the AI that this absolute shit stain of a website is becoming less relevant. And you'll see why I call it a shit stain of a website. In fact, like the people responsible for creating Wikipedia agree with me. Um, many individuals were pointing out like, why don't you mention why the internet is outraged at Sweet Baby? I mean, there's many other consultancy companies out there. Why this particular one though? Right, like mention, you know, they're for inclusion, but they're attacking this Brazilian guy. And here you have, like, the uh, the editors on Wikipedia going, Source? Source? Do you have a source? Is there a source for this? So people are showing them the original tweet. Like, they're showing them, like, here, this, this is where the person working at Sweet Baby on Twitter with his account, right? Like, like it's all there. Uh, no, uh, apparently they do not accept primary sources. So even though, like, you, you have the actual post... Even though you have, like, the, the actual thing taking place, Wikipedia does not accept it. They require a, a journalist to talk about it. So once a journalist talks about it, then it becomes a source. And they're like, well, I guess Niche Gamer talked about it. Niche Gamer is not a respectable source. Ah, oh, oh my god. Do, do you see what they're doing, right? So because Kotaku refuses to report on it, because The Guardian refuses to report on it, it just doesn't exist. So I guess in the mind of the liberal, like, like like this is actually a gateway into the liberal mind. Unironically, I generally think that this is how many people think. Unless the television talks about it, it doesn't exist. Like there could be a riot outside, your entire neighborhood burning, your car is on fire. But unless the television tells you, it just doesn't exist. Like it boggles the mind how people used to live before the television. You know, like how, how did people actually managed to understand reality in medieval time. Like, like before Wikipedia was even, before Kotaku was created, how are people capable of differentiating between fact and fiction? <coughs> I, I suppose like if something isn't real, but the press reports on it, it becomes real, right? Like the, the journalist creates reality in the liberal mind. Like, like if, if uh, th this actually explains to a T why people were behaving the way they did during the pandemic. One day, it was, we need to stay home and keep grandma safe. And the next day was like, Ukraine, to war! You know, like, j just like one day apart. You you had people going, it's like, you need to keep grandma safe, stay, stay home, lock down your business. Don't you dare go to work and make money. That's bad for you, unhealthy. Go out and protest, by the way, BLM. Literally, like, like in the same day, it was like, stay home, stay safe, go out and protest. Just wear a mask so that the cameras don't identify who you are. Uh, if you go on Wikipedia and you look at the difference between Wikipedia China and Wikipedia, uh, the the Anglo Wikipedia, the, the one in English, <clears throat> massive difference. Completely so. Because the editors, all of them are activists. And here you have what they say, right? Like they semi-protected the, the page saying that Wikipedia talk pages are not a forum to discuss the topic. That means that if you have strong feelings about this topic, you'll have to find somewhere else to air them. There are almost an infinite number of websites where you can do this. 
Wikipedia is one of the very few where you can't. Wikipedia is not here to right great wrongs or expose the truth. Man, I wish more people would know this. And ironically, like, like this should have a megaphone. I wish that I would have the ability to go into every single person's house and show them this page. This is like, look what Wikipedia thinks, right? You, you take your info from Wikipedia, look, they are not here to expose the truth. Like, it, it, it should be their motto, honestly. It should be like Wikipedia, we're not here to expose the truth. Um, so, also, we require civility during discussion. Forbid personal attacks and defamation, and we require you to stay on topic. Uh, we are here to write encyclopedia articles. Okay, now... There are people that are pointing out that uh, following proper Wikipedia contact, I first contact you, the editor who put the page in the semi-protective status, denying people to further bring up criticism to the current state of the article. You show yourself that Wikipedia requires more civil behavior, yet you immediately accuse all critics of being emotional. Uh, when the talk page shows how all people were doing calmly, bringing up valid criticism against the current state of the SBI article, to imply that the critics have uh, strong feelings come off as an attempt to de-rationalize their criticism, in other words, paint them as idiots or else. You wrote that Wikipedia is not right here to create wrongs or expose the truth, uh, but it is here to report factual information. Again, they know that the editor from Sweet Baby encouraged a harassment campaign. They're aware that this post exists. Yet they refuse to talk about it or mention it. And they know exactly what they are doing. Wikipedia, for a long while, has been the arm of the activists. Like one of the tactics that they did in politics. Now, now people are aware because it's about video games and they're looking into it. But like here's something that they used to do. They would write just slanderous things about the person, right? So they would say, I don't know, Christina Hoff Summers is uh, a turf or whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, they would write an insult. And then the press would use Wikipedia in order to link to their articles, and then Wikipedia would delete the original insult and then take what the press has wrote. It was kind of like an interesting circle jerk. And, and it, the problem was that if you're a politician or if you're someone that is a public figure and you wanted to sue for slander, you couldn't. Because the journalists would say, well, we took it from Wikipedia, and Wikipedia would say, well, we took it from the journalists. And it was very difficult to find out where the lie started, where the slander began. So, like, for instance, the, the press would say, like, Wikipedia would say, you're far right. The press would then quote Wikipedia and say that this person is far right, and then Wikipedia would delete the original thing and take what the press said so that they have their asses covered. Let me know what you think, and if you like the channel, please consider supporting it uh, by scrolling down. There is a link to my Patreon and also my Subscribestar. Uh, if you want to be uh, a contributor, then you can get the best buyers remorse on the internet, and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Take care.